Good morning, Internet. This is Alex the Sudokus, and it is Wednesday, the 21st of October 2020. Oh, didn't manage to speak there, get my words out. Um, and we have another New York Times hard Sudoku for us this morning. So let's dive right in and do some pencil markings using Snyder notations. Um, let's see, we have a pair of ones here because of this one and that one. Um, that's all we can do with the ones by the look of it. So what about twos? We have a pair of twos here because of these twos. These twos locks a pair of twos over there. And these twos locks a pair of twos over there. And I think that's it. So what about threes? Threes, they're locked in the same kind of um, rolls in the same cages within the same rolls so don't think we're gonna get much out of them so fours we'll have a pair of fours here thanks to this single four so in fact I think this row may be worth looking at in a bit um any other fours nope that's the only four that we can get five we only have one five so five is weak I have a pair of sixes there because of that six, so that means that's a six over there. And we have another pair of sixes here because of these two sixes. Locking another pair of sixes up here. And that's all we can do with the sixes. Sevens are here because of these sevens and that's seven. And eights we have a pair of eights here because of that eight and that eight so nothing else to speak of nines they're over here because of these two nines and that nine over there in fact there's another nine here so we can actually confirm the nine so any other nines um we have another pair of nines there because of these two nines so that creates a two, two nine pair, so we can unlock the seven here, which unlocks another pair of sevens, looking this way. Um, and that seven isn't useful for us. How are we doing on the nines? Anything else? And um, we have another pair of nines there, because of these two nines and that nine over there. And that's all the nines. So we have a triple forming here in this um, row. So they are threes, twos, no, hold on, not twos, threes, fours, and fives, which means this is a pair of ones and sixes. No, ones and ones and eights. We have an eight down here, so that resolves the one eight pair, and that also resolves the one here. And now this 8 locks a pair of 8s up there with the other 8. Um, it also generates a pair of 8s over there forming the 7 and 8. So therefore these are now 5s, but 5 is locked in there because of that 5. And this is another, um, another 3. So this three locks a pair of threes over there, the five locks a pair of fives there. And we have another triple here, which are fives, ones, and um, threes. Okay, so anything else we can look at? Um, we have um, quadruple over here. Quite a few quadruples actually, but no triples left that I can see. So this is one, two, seven, and eight. So I've got one and eight there. One, two. Oh no, I've got two, one, and eight. So this has to be a seven. And if that's a seven, then these are sevens as well. Okay, so I'm left with one, two, and eight. Um, I can't deduce any of them, so actually I can deduce a 1 using basic Sudoku, so that locks another 1 there, and a pair of 1s over here. 
So that leaves me with twos and eights up here. And therefore these are sixes and sevens. Okay. So let's look at the other quadruples. These are five, six, seven, and eight on that column. Um, I've got six and seven there, so that's five and eight. Uh, I don't think that's very productive. What about this column? Three, six, seven, and eight. Three, six, seven, and eight. I've got seven and eight, so this is three and six. Uh, I've got kind of the same situation otherwise. So let's move on to this column. This is three, four, five, and two. Two, three, four, and five. Um, can't really use that. I've only got three over there. Pardon my my nose blowing. Um, I've got another quadruple at the bottom row. So this is three, four, six, and two. Two, three, four, and six. So let's see now. Two, three, four, and six. Can't do anything with them. But I just noticed this pointer pair of sixes unlocks a six over there, as well as a pair of sixes here. And this six actually unlocks the four and six. So I should probably have a look around just to make sure I haven't missed anything else. So sixes are here. This is a quadruple, so this is three, five, six, and eight. So eight left in these cells. Not super useful for me right now, but I do have an eight locked in this row because I've got eight locked in rows one and three in two different cages. So the eight must live in one of these two cells. But if we think about it, eight can't live there either. So it has to be on this column somewhere. So that's actually the eight. Um, oh, actually, yeah, we had a pointer pair of eights down there anyway. So, um, okay, anything else? Ones, twos. Twos are locked in these two cells, so they must be in these two cells as well. Um, because they have to be on row two somewhere. Twos, threes. Threes are now locked in there because of the eight. So, and they have to lift on this, these two columns in this cage. So that must be a three. And these are now twos and twos and fives. And I can't lock down five anywhere over there. But also I have a quadruple here. So this is two, four, five, and nine. Two four, five, and nine. Nope, can't reduce them. So let's stay on the numbers. Um, let's see, I think, um, I think I did three. So how are we doing on fours? Not particularly well. So let's have a look at fives. Fives. Nope, nothing on fives. Sixes. Nothing on... Oh, hang on. That's a six, because that six sees into the pencil marking. So, that six doesn't interact with anything else, but it does unlock a seven for us, because we have a point pair of sevens, and that's seven, and that has to be a two and five, plus there's also a seven down here. So that removes this 7, unlocking the 7 and 8, and this 8 locks an 8 over there because of these two 8s, unlocking a 5, giving us a 3-6 pair, and the 3-6 pair unlocks the 6 and 7 up there, the 8 or the 7 unlocks this 7-8 pair. Um, so, but they don't do anything else. Um... Okay, so that was a fairly successful run. What have I got here? It's a triple of threes, fours, three, four, and five. 
So this is a 4-5 pair, meaning these are 2s and 9s. But that's not helpful for me at all. So actually, I can place a pair of 9s there. Um, I think that's all the 9s pencil marked in. Um, 7s are all done. I feel like we're quite close to finishing, but we haven't got the key number yet. But we're not far off. So this is 2, 5, 8 and 4. Nope. Okay, let's just carry on with the scanning. I think um, I was up to 7s maybe? So, 7s are all done. So 8s are over there, 9s. Oh, we've done nines, so let's go back to ones, twos. Hold on, what's going on here? We've got um, a quadruple, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for a four. The fours have, oh, fours have to be in these two cells because of two five pairs, so that eliminates a nine and a one, and a five and a one. So, that locks a pair of fives down here. And I think I can unlock the three here because this has to be a three and four. So that's the three and four unlocked. And these are now fours. That four locks the fours in those two rows, but... Hold on, we've got four five, four five here, so this must be a naked number which is a 3, and if that's a 3, then I've unlocked another 3 over here, and also this is a 3 and 6 because of that 3. So, how are we doing now? That 6 unlocks the 6 over here, and I think that's all the 3s and 6s is done. So this is 4 and 5, this is 2 and 5, and that's 4 and 2. Well, that's a bit annoying. Ah, but I do have a pair of 2s and 9 up here. But the fact that I haven't pencil marked in the 9 here tells me that this has to be a 2 and that has to be the 9. And with that, we can unlock the 2 and 9 down here as well. That 2 also unlocks the 4, 2 pair down here. So that must be 4 and 2. That means that's 5 and 4 and 5 and 4 and 5. And this is another two, and we only have two twos left, and surprisingly, oh, there we go, that's a five, so that unlocks the twos and fives, which unlocks the twos and eights, which unlocks the eight and four, and that is today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. I hope that's useful, and if it was, please leave a like and subscribe, otherwise I shall see you tomorrow. Bye!